Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of Selenium training. In this session, we are going to talk on how to add dependencies in your pom.xml and uh, we will discuss on a bit structure of pom.xml. We have already discussed the structure of pom.xml and what it contains, but in this session, we will see in practical how to add our dependencies in which tags we need to add. All those things we will see and also we will execute a test case in a different browser without using driver.exe files so we will talk about the web driver manager which is the one which handles this right so in previous session we have already talked on what is maven how to download and install maven and how to uh, configure any edit environment variables and all those stuff if you haven't watched that videos please watch and come back to this video so that you will have some continuity and a clarity so let's jump to an uh, uh, browser sorry let's jump to our eclipse and see how we can do that okay so let me close all this okay we already have a project which we created earlier so this is the sample project in our previous video we have created this project so in this project uh, we have form.xml it's a maven project and we don't have any uh, dependencies here right we just have a project tab as project tag as a root and by default these three these four are created by the name that we give when creating our maven project okay now in order to uh, ensure that we run the selenium scripts in maven project we have to add the dependencies here so if you have seen our earlier sessions we used to add all these dependencies or jars in the form of libraries right we used to download the jar files and then go to uh, this right click and build path and all those things which is a traditional way of doing the uh, adding jars okay we used to go to configure build path and uh, we have to go to these libraries and add external jars okay and then used to add the jars which we downloaded so since we are now talking about uh, maven project we are not going to deal with all those downloading and all those stuff so as we discussed earlier maven will take care of all those things by the dependencies which we put as an artifact here in pom.xml file now as we already know we need selenium java uh, jar file that we need for running our scripts right so let me go to chrome browser so i'll be needing two jar files here to run my script one is selenium java and other one is webdriver manager okay so this session is specially meant for uh, telling you that we can download uh, or we no need to download these driver.exe files for running our scripts in browser right we in our real time we run our scripts in firefox chrome edge and internet explorer and all these browsers which is called cross browser testing so always we need, we used to download these driver.exe files and then uh, give the path of traditional way right so let me go here so the traditional way of doing this is system dot set property and we used to give the name of the driver whether it is chrome or firefox and whatever it is and we used to provide the path of the exe file that mean driver dot exe file so in this session we are going to talk on how to work on browsers without downloading these driver.exe files okay what is this web driver manager okay web driver manager is an api it's a class and it's a library which allows us to automate the management of the browsers that mean always when we use this traditional model there are chances that the driver version changes and we have to download the latest version of the driver and then give the change the path or give uh, the absolute path of the driver.exe file now to avoid all those uh, manual efforts we are having this web driver manager which we can leverage in our automation scripts okay so this is very simple and you have to remember only two lines of code to perform this coding 
okay so as i said this web driver manager is a library which allows to automate you can see here this web driver manager methods or classes will take care of downloading the respective versions of a driver and run your script successfully okay for example you have taken a chrome browser chrome driver or a chrome browser so the web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup so this method will set up the uh, chrome driver for running our scripts in chrome browser and then we will instant uh, we will initiate a driver uh, variable using web driver interface and um, you can see here new web chrome driver okay we have called a we have a initialized a driver object and we are calling this chrome driver right and same way if we have taken a firefox observe here we have taken a firefox method and then you can see um, web driver dot driver is equal to new firefox driver of okay and for edge driver we have taken edge driver and uh, these are all uh, the things which we did for uh, managing our uh, browsers in diff browsers different browsers okay so whatever the browser it is you have to replace this uh, syntax with that particular driver name or a class and you have to take this uh, variables object for a driver so you can uh, go to this uh, uh, links to read about what is web driver manager and all those let me show you a few links here which you can go so this is the main page for web driver manager okay so you can see here web driver manager is a library which allows to automate the management of drivers and if you go down you will be seeing a traditional model the syntaxes and then here they have given um, the dependency which we which we can use in our code to download the jars okay so let us copy this even if you even if you don't have this link you can just simply go uh, to google and type web driver manager maven dependency okay so you can go to this page maven repository and you will be seeing a different version here the latest version is 4403.1 so you can copy this here even here it is defined the same so let's copy this and let's go to our eclipse so here i need to add it under a dependencies tag so the project will be the first tag and this in inside this project tag only we have to describe all our dependencies plugins builds and all everything okay so let me define define dependencies tag okay so inside this dependencies i'll define my dependency okay so this is one dependency which i need to run our scripts in different browsers okay so format in uh, nice way so that you can have it's very easy to read your pom.xml file and then i need selenium java jar also so let me go ahead and download that so so let me search here selenium java okay so i have this uh, alpha versions beta versions and everything so let me take this alpha version for a meanwhile you can take it it's not an issue or you can take a, a correct version as well so let me place this here okay so the shortcut to format correctly is control shift f so that it will automatically format your uh, this XML file okay now see this form.xml file is uh, executing and it will download or it will download those dependencies which we uh, have just put okay observe carefully here in our com.sample project uh, we don't uh, see any um, see we don't see any um, maven dependencies folder right let's give it a second it's building the project
okay now you can see this maven dependencies folder is automatically created and you can see different jar files got uh, downloaded and you can even see webdriver manager and these are the default uh, uh, maven uh, jars that we have when it is updated okay now <clears throat> let's go let's switch to our uh, src test java and let's write our uh, small piece of code to open our browser so let me say web driver manager example chrome so let me take a public static void main now let's let me write web driver manager dot so you can see here different uh, browsers are being displayed here web driver sorry chrome driver chromium driver edge driver firefox driver so i need a chrome driver and dot setup so this will set up the chrome driver for us this is similar to set property that we define in a traditional way now i am going to initiate initialize my driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver of and now import this web driver and chrome driver okay e is missing here now let's write driver dot get okay now let's run this program You can see here chrome driver is open so you can use the similar methods which we which you already use driver dot window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize all these methods will work here so let us run this again see so this way you don't you you did not download any driver.exe files you are just simply using two lines of code to run your code right so similar way let's take uh, let's copy this and uh, let's rename it to firefox and let's see a firefox example firefox okay so instead of chrome driver let's replace it with firefox driver okay and here instead of chrome let's define firefox and import this okay run this see it's open right so in the similar way you can use your edge driver as well so let's copy this okay let's take uh, edge driver and then replace this with edge driver and import this and now run this program see even edge browser is working okay be it in any browser you can work like this using web driver manager so if you want to see uh, the code related to those you just go to this link i'll provide you the link in the description box so it's a boni garcia github.com and you will be seeing an uh, repo web driver manager examples so under that you can go to src 
test and uh, this test okay here you have a number of examples you can see firefox test chrome test and internet explorer test and you can see multiple browsers test open new tab chrome test okay all these examples source labs test remote test okay remote web uh, rtc firefox test and test ng chrome test test ng firefox test there are number of examples and phantom js test you can see number of examples here they have given the code which is very uh, readily available so if you want uh, to see the internet explorer test java you can see here they have given the complete code if you face any issues in your code just try to copy paste this and use uh, leverage this uh, uh, pre available code the repository okay and coming to the methods available in uh, webdriver manager and there are a lot of features they have given in webdriver manager api you can manually define your uh, web drive, uh, driver version uh, browser version and if you want to uh, do some force download or use beta versions okay and you can you can make uh, use of all these fun functions uh, methods available in web driver manager and you can see for windows for linux okay you can force your uh, driver to use uh, windows linux or mac okay and uh, there are a um, couple of methods which are really useful you can try this uh, browser path you can specify your browser path and set version properties url see they have given some example here so web, if you want to define your driver version you can use uh, driver version uh, you can sp specify your driver version here and if you want to use your browser version you can specify the browser version here so this web driver manage will take care of uh, getting these drivers for you and will execute for you whatever the code you have it will try to execute based on this configuration or based on this setup okay and uh, this is more uh, very easy and flexible way of uh, executing uh, these tests in different browsers using this web driver manager so mostly this web driver managers will be used for you in your uh, um, cross browser testing so there is there are there are a lot of complex frameworks they design uh, in your companies right if you want to do a cross browser testing on uh, different browsers you have to always uh, face a challenge in downloading the latest versions of the uh, drivers whenever the browsers are updated and then you have to put it manually into your uh, folders and then uh, refresh your project and all those stuff will be there when you are working in real time so this web driver manager will eliminate all those uh, issues and it will help you to um, resolve all this so you can see here different uh, methods are available okay you can use those so i hope uh, you like this video and uh, please practice this video i'll be giving this uh, simple code in the description box you can copy you can use you can use and uh, copy paste and practice these examples okay hope uh, you like the video and if you have any suggestions just put it in the comments and uh, happy learning and thanks for watching and have a nice day